know this situation when you feel bored and automatically grab your phone to watch some TikTok, Instagram, YouTube or whatsoever, but then you just feel worse? Well, I do know this situation just too well. And if you do so too, let me know down in the comments. Well, and I'm trying my best with all the knowledge I've got to not fall into this habit. I do sport, I try to read, I try to be just in general productive, but then I find myself again and again and again in this shitty situation feeling shitty. So what are we supposed to do here? There is so much good content out there and so many things to see and not seeing them doesn't feel like the right solution. Well, this new research might just have the answer. So I was reading a couple of news in the field of psychology when I stumbled upon this interesting article, published on APA.org. Swiping through online videos increases boredom, study finds. And this just hit like a truck when I read it, because I felt so identified. So I read the article and like a proper psychologist, I also read the paper too. And there were some pretty intriguing findings, and not necessarily the findings you would expect. We skipped the whole article because you already know how articles love to exaggerate. Reporting phenomenal findings, then in reality it's nothing more than a drag. And so we skip directly into the paper. But don't worry, we keep it short and easy. Basically, the paper is a combination of seven studies in total. First, they looked if there were actually a relationship between being bored and swiping or digital switching as they wrote it because they also included switching not only between videos like on TikTok but also switching within the same video like when you skip a boring part on YouTube. And how you would imagine, yes, they found a relation. The more bored you are, the more you swipe. Great. Next up, they checked our belief system. Do we think that swiping helps us avoid boredom? And again, I think it's no surprise here, yes, we tend to believe that more swiping helps reduce boredom. And now it gets interesting, because the next few studies looked at how switching and swiping really affects our boredom. And not just boredom, they also looked at satisfaction, attention and meaning. Well, and obviously they compared it to another group of people who could not switch or swipe between and within videos. And what they found was surprisingly in the title of the article. Switching and swiping resulted in higher boredom. And in lower satisfaction, less attention and less perceived meaning. And all that statistically relevant for all us nerds here. So the solution may just be selecting a good video and watching it completely. Without swiping, without switching. So go watch my videos. And the paper also has a possible explanation for this counterintuitive findings. They state that attention plays a central role in the emotion of boredom. And when we switch media, we also shift attention, making it impossible to fully engage in something. So by trying to find something interesting, we kill the possibility of something to be interesting. Hmm. But as always in science, it ain't that easy. You see, until now all participants were university students and the videos used for the experiments were imposed, were pre-selected to obviously reduce other variables, but it pulls us away from reality. But now the next studies included self-selected videos on YouTube, a wider variety of participants articles instead of videos and also looking at other variables like opportunity cost. And what they found was nothing. Well, they did find at least some numbers that indicate in the same direction as the previous findings, switching increases boredom, but nothing really too profound. So further studies are needed and maybe, who knows, we will conduct some studies here on the channel, but generally it leaves open the question, does short-term content mess with our mental health? 
Thus, switching increases boredom and lessens satisfaction, meaning and attention. Leave me your experience in the comments, would be pretty interesting to see. I will leave the link to the article in the description. I think it's a very, very cool study, very interesting results. But remember to always question the information you are given, even if it's a scientific paper or your favorite YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.